Charles Lancaster Sr. being saluted by Garrison leadership. More about the 101-year-old Buffalo soldier in just a moment. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, a look at the Employee Assistance Program. The Automotive Skills Center is offering a new service and a peek inside the Maryland Museum of Military History. These stories and more, but first, last Friday, just a day before the beginning of Black History Month, Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Eric Sprague led a Fort Meade contingent in saluting living history, history in the form of 101-year-old Charles Lancaster Sr. Lancaster, a member of the 92nd Infantry Division, famously known as the Buffalo Soldiers, was recognized for his military and lifelong community service in ceremonies at the Mount Ephraim Baptist Church in Upper Marlboro. The recognition was made through a partnership between the VA and the National Hospice and Palliative Care Organization, We Honor Veterans. Lancaster's ceremony and recognition was initiated by Seasons Hospice. He enlisted in the Army in 1941, but it wasn't his first choice. He went to enlist as a Marine, however, at that time, uh, the military was segregated, so he went to the Army. And um, after enlisting, he graduated from Officers Military School as a second lieutenant and went on to fight in the Italian campaign. Lancaster would go on to earn a commission and receive a Purple Heart and Bronze Star while fighting in Italy. Because of his injuries, a career in the military wasn't in the cards, but his life of service was just beginning. When he left the military, he went um, on to uh, uh, establish the first African-American Volunteer Fire Department in Prince George's County, the Chapel Oaks Volunteer Fire Department. I mean, he was just amazing. He was a self-made man. In a related story, the United States Army Field Band and the Fort Meade Equal Opportunity Office invite you to this year's Black History Month observance. This year's guest speaker is Major Victoria Parrish Edwards from the Asymmetric Warfare Group. It's coming up Thursday, February 20th at 1130 at Club Mead. Meanwhile, staying with an historical theme, a look at the Maryland Museum of Military History. Maryland has a rich and exciting military legacy on display in the heart of Baltimore. Located in the headquarters of the Maryland National Guard at the historic 5th Regiment Armory, the museum features all the service branches with an emphasis on the 29th Infantry Division in both world wars. The museum tells the history of our state and country via the military and the real Maryland citizens that served heroically in every American conflict. It is a valuable educational resource to military members and the public and is available for all types of tours and events. Admission is always free. A well-stocked library with archival material dedicated to the 29th Infantry Division comprises one of the most extensive records in the United States for any infantry unit in the Army or Marine Corps. It is available to the public for research. So come and visit this world-class museum, named the best overlooked museum in Baltimore and categorized as a rare gem in the city by the Baltimore Sun's annual Best of Baltimore. For more information or to schedule a visit, please call 410-576-6081. In other news, employee assistance programs have been around for decades. These programs are designed to provide assistance to employees and family members for a variety of reasons. Recently, I visited the Fort Meade EAP's new relaxation room. While the EAP falls under the Army's substance abuse program, the EAP can help with a variety of problems, workplace issues, marital problems, abuse, legal and health issues, and more. What we do is we interview, we assess, we refer, we do short-term counseling, completely confidential, and it's at no cost. Who can use it? Uh, federal employees, their dependents, uh, military dependents, retirees and their dependents, and also NAF employees and their dependents. The new relaxation room is a place to take a break and recharge if you need to. People needed a place to come in and just chill out for a few minutes if it's at lunchtime, a break, whatever, just to come and chill out. In MWR news, usually the Automotive Skills Center caters to do-it-yourselfers. Recently, the center started a new service, While You Wait Wednesdays. You can have a center technician perform an oil change, wheel alignment, air conditioning service, or nitrogen inflation of your tires. It's a first-come, first-served service that runs Wednesdays from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can find a price list at the MWR website, me.armymwr.com. One important reminder, you must bring your own oil and filter for the oil change service. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.